Hello everyone, welcome to our video preview of this week's Michigan football game. As you may have heard, the Wolverines host the Michigan State this week, a matchup of 5-0 and teams. Uh, Mike, why don't you get the ball rolling here, tell us, uh, tell us what you think about the matchup of Denard Robinson versus Greg Jones. Wait, Michigan and Michigan State are playing? I didn't know. I haven't heard anything about it. In reality, it's going to be the most interesting matchup Denard Robinson's had this year, although Greg Jones said it this week, and he's right. It's not just Denard versus Greg Jones. Greg Jones is going to follow him around a lot, that's my guess, and he's going to probably do some sort of shadowing of him. That's probably maybe the closest a team will come to containing him so far. But if you looked at the Indiana tape last week, Indiana was in position a couple times to tackle him. Indiana just can't tackle. So the problem there for Michigan is making sure that Denard has those same running lanes that he had the first month of the season. Is it a matter of Indiana couldn't tackle or that Denard eluded them and how does that play into uh, what Michigan State will do this week? Eh, a little A, a little B, but at the same time, I mean, you just watched Indiana and it was, I mean, it was like Pee Wee team out there. They, they just, they, it was really, really bad tackling. Not that Michigan's defense has been much better and not that they've really been able to, to do that either, but you you wonder how a good defense, which is this is going to be the first really good defense Michigan plays this year, is going to be able to to handle Denard Robinson. So what do you think is going to happen on the other side of the ball? Kirk Cousins has had a really good year, especially in the second half. He's had a good year. At Michigan State turned the ball over three times last week, though, in the first half against Wisconsin. The Badgers not able to capitalize on that momentum. Um, you know, I, I foresee that the Michigan defense is going to be tested. I expect the Spartans to attack the, the young secondary, just like Indiana did last week. And, uh, you know, in some respects, Michigan has to hope that game by game, these three, four, five true freshmen that they use back there are getting better. Um, you know, this is probably the most balanced offense, I would say, that Michigan's defense has faced this season, and that in and of itself may present some problems. It'll be, it will be an interesting test. I think Notre Dame presented a fairly balanced offense when Dane Christ was in the game. I, I think when they when he was out of the game, they ran the ball almost exclusively, and that really kind of took them out of their rhythm. But I think Michigan State's offense is probably better than that Notre Dame offense and has maybe not the talented like top-end guys. I'm, I'm saying top-end guys. I mean, they might not have the Michael Floyds and the Kyle Rudolphs, but overall, one through three in their receiving core. Do you think Cousins uh, is as good as Christ? I think right now Cousins is better than Christ. I think if you just look at the way the two have played this year, I think Cousins is better than Christ. The records would surely bear that out. Obviously, Dane Christ looked okay. Looked probably the best he's looked all year last week against Boston College. But beyond that, I'd say Cousins has had the better season by far, and I don't think anyone would really be able to argue that. The Spartans have had the better season. Well, that too. Uh, that as well. I mean, and Michigan State's defense has been much better than, like like you said, any defense that, no, that, well, that really Notre Dame has played so far or that Michigan will play on Saturday. No, I think it's in interesting because this is clearly the best defense that Michigan has faced so far. But Denard Robinson is probably, the, no question, the best player that the Michigan uh, State defense has faced so far as well. So to me, it's a battle of how those two uh, wind up uh, doing against each other. And don't forget the kicking game. The kicking game is uh, <laughs> very scary. Michigan State, the best in the Big Ten. Uh, Dan Conroy, 7-for-7. Seven seven. Wolverines, unfortunately, at the, the other end of the spectrum, 1-for-5 this year. Uh, and if this is a close game, certainly special teams can, can have a big factor at the end. Uh, Mike, ultimately in the end, how do you see this one shaping up? Well, Pete, it's going to be a close game no matter what. That's the one thing that I can guarantee. Earlier this week, I was on the radio in Washington, D.C., and I took Michigan State in a close game. I slept on it a little bit, and the thing is, I think I'm going to change my mind. Michigan, I really like Denard Robinson. I think he's going to be able to get make plays within the Michigan State defense. He's going to get into the secondary a lot. And while Michigan's kicking game is bad... I think they're going to put up five touchdowns. I think Michigan State's going to have the ball. They're going to be down 35-31, and Cousins is going to throw the ball out of the end zone on the final play. Michigan's going to win 35-31. What do you think, Pete? Well, Mike, like you, I've waffled quite a bit this week on who I think is going to win Saturday's game. Uh, clearly, the winner has the, the inside track to probably second place in the Big Ten. Uh, I'd be really afraid if it comes down to special teams for the, for the Wolverines. Uh, both with Keyshawn Martin's return ability and the, the way that the kicking game sets up. Tangibles for the Wolverines that, uh, that are just leading me to make a gut call. I think, I think Michigan wins a close game at home, 38-35.